Okay, if you last remember, Trees had just been asked by Commander Ridger to investigate the source of a psycho psychotropic drug known as dust to find out how it was getting into the city and who was dealing with it. And my directions take me up to here. We'll get to talk to the junkie's neighbor. See what he has to say. Okay, the junkie's neighbor here is complaining about all the dust dealers in town. He's told me where I can find the junkie. Ooh, eh, should I open that? No. He's over here. Go wander off to the town for a while. I kind of wonder where that little bridge goes, because I've never been able to find a way to get into that building. Casterly's bar. Probably should go back and check in there someday to see what's going on. Yeah, Trees thinks this is crowded. Okay. Yeah, my junkie contact is over here, of course. Hiding beside the dumpster. Hi. Oh, Fop is his name. Hi, Fop. Okay, strangely enough, this is the dealer. Oh, look, some vodka. Um, strangely enough, this is the dealer, and, um, you have to buy some dust from him. There's nothing else to do, and when you buy the dust, he actually just gives you the key to his house. Now, um, somehow I don't think that's the way it would normally work, but, okay, fine. So now I've got the key to his house, so I get to go in and see what he's got in there. It cost me 500 credits, so you have to have money before you can do that. Make sure you didn't buy everything. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, when the, I was selling all my stuff earlier, I actually bought a sniper rifle. Look. See? Sniper rifle. That would have been useful earlier, but I have one now. Hi, you're still the junkie's neighbor. Okay, let's go inside. Let's see what this guy has in here. I have no idea what that is. Ammo. Yeah, we can take that. Cola. Yes, I'm robbing the junkie's house. There's a poetic justice of some type here. Eh, I'm not going to deal with the 4% lock paper percent chance. Okay. Here we have a hack stick. For hacking computers. Okay. Some more cola. There's a... Um, chest here, but there's actually nothing inside of it, so I'm not going to bother to break it. Break it, oh jeez. Um, so yeah, you can just sort of wander around and... And, um, med kit. Where's that hat junk? Anyway, I'm sort of wasting time in here. More med kits. Repair kit. What we have here, more hack stick. This is his computer. I'm going to have to hack into it using all these hack sticks I've been picking up. I've only got a 25% chance, but I got it, like 8 sticks. Let's see if I can make it. Burned out. Yay, I've gotten access to his computer. So let's see what he has to say on here. And I'll read the messages. Okay, the computer tells me that my contact is someone on the other side of town. And I'm supposed to greet him with the phrase, I've been waiting a long time for someone with whom I can discuss the wisdom of the desert. That's probably because the tribals um, out of the desert use the dust to commune with the desert spirits or something like that. And the person's name is Famir. So let's go talk to Famir. Let's see what he has to say. He's way over here on the other side of town. So we get to walk through town again. I wonder if they've got a real language they developed for this game. I mean, I notice all the signs have these little patternings on them. See. I wonder if they actually say anything, if they can translate to something. If they do, it probably translates to Russian, so that's why I'm not bothered. But, um... My contact is right out here. And I had my picture taken. Okay. He's standing right here. Hello, merchant from the wastelands. Okay, I gave him the code phrase. He gave me a package of dust and told me I have to give it to somebody who's out near the starport. He also took the key that I just went to all that effort to 
get. So, yeah, I'm out of some money right now. While I'm over here, let's go, restrooms. While I'm over here, we're going to go in here. This is the Pyramid Temple. If you remember, um, one of the things that Richard told us early on is that Teresa's father spent a lot of time in the Pyramid Temple. This is it, and for the record, that is the Pyramid. That is also a Precursor's Artifact. Congratulations, we have found one. Let's go talk to the priest here to find out what we need to know about the Pyramid Temple. Hello, Father. Tell me about the Pyramid. Okay, the priest claims that there is a branch of this cult on every planet, even planets they haven't discovered pyramids on, because they claim that there are pyramids on all planets, they just haven't been discovered. And that the being in the vicinity of a pyramid makes you smarter and more honest. That's really all he had to say. I just wanted to point that out while we were over here. And now we get to go over to the starport and talk to the merchant who is dealing with dust. So let's go talk to him. Is that the weather report up there? I really don't know. Okay. I kind of wonder how they do much dealing with dust with these things taking your pictures all the time. How are you getting away with this? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that guy wants. Shuttle pilot in the right spot. Oh, I'm next door to the right spot. Okay. Yeah, this is where I go to get forbidden things. Hey, you handsome, not be shy. Uh, what kind of forbidden things are we dealing with here? Hey, Pari. Okay. This is Famir. He's the guy who was actually dealing the dust, so we're gonna talk to him for a bit. Okay, if you try to arrest Famir, he kills himself. Which is, you know, kind of a interesting take. Uh, you can just give him the dust and let him leave, in which case he gives you a bunch of credits and takes off. Uh, he's actually a merchant. You could have bought a bunch of stuff from him, but once he's dead, you can't. So I don't know what's going on here. And I don't know what that was about. But, um, anyway, we have to go tell Ridger that, yeah, we just found where the dust was coming from, and the guy killed himself. So let's see what we got here. All in all, this whole dust investigation thing is kind of, I don't know. I mean, you, you're giving, you lose a lot of money in it, and you don't seem to get much out of it. It just seems kind of a least satisfying quest they have. But let's go tell Ridger that. Oh, look, we got rid of the dust. Hi, Ridger. We found the guy. Too bad he's dead. Okay, Ridger was accepting of the fact that my contact just died. And um, he says that, you know, the thoughts of free men go with me or something like that, which makes absolutely no sense. But he did say that my ship is ready, so let's hurry back to the starport and see what our ship looks like. And you can actually see it from here. It's hovering right there in the starport. Get out of my way. We actually have a mission. We're supposed to fly to another station and get a command. That's your ship. Yeah, I think I'll name it the Gilded Banana. And let's go on board and look around. This is our ship. This is your ship's AI, who you've been talking to. That's Anastasia. She'll tell you that your father used to call her A to Z. I don't know why. But not much over here. It's neat as you can actually walk around your ship. This is your engine room. You have a bar in your ship. Off the engine room. I don't know why. Go over this way. It's hard to look at. Go over this way and we have um little sink. 
toilet area. This is your office or your room. You have a locker here which you can use to store stuff in. So we actually have a place where we can keep our equipment now. When, um, as opposed to having to leave it in a Jeep parked around somewhere. Some med bay. There's some um, anesthesia again. And we can go up to the cockpit here. This is your cockpit. It's amazing how much of this ship you can actually walk around in, but it's finally time to head into space. So let's get in, activate the VR helmet, and we're taking off. And we will see you in orbit. <laughs>